going on YouTube? It's your homie guy about to bring y'all a new video today on the It's On You channel. Today, this video is going to be about a new EDC product that I've had for a good amount of time and I was able to give it a good trial run or whatnot and I actually like it. So I'm going to post a video and give you a, like I always do with my onions pen. Uh, it was not given to me. I bought it myself because I was interested and I'm happy, you know, it turned out good for me. So but before we get to it, y'all know I love doing my EDC dump. So we're going to start off with my watch. This is the G-Shock. GD 100. I'm gonna go to the keys. It's like a firefighter key lane for the old light keychain light on there. We got my light, and it is the Streamlight Protect 2LX 500 lumens. Also, on my left pocket, we got the Recycle Firefighter Minimalist wallet with the spandex money clip on the back. Back left pocket, we got the Riding the Rain notepad, bandana, always. Also, my left pocket, we have the multi-tool of choice, which is the Leatherman Skeletal Tool CX model. Back right pocket would have been my phone, but I'm recording from it. This is the case, and it is an iPhone 11 Pro. All right, blade of choice. We have the Spyderco Man X2, all black G10 grips. Front right pocket, we have the good old Burt's Bees West Chapstick, Ginger and Lime. We got the Fisher Space Pen, Matte, back, matte Black Bullet. I lost the clip to it. It came with a clip, but I don't know where it is. Anywho, we got my lighter, which is a Thunder uh, Zippo with a Thunderbird insert in there for butane fuel. We got the AirPod Pros in a hype case. All right, and we got the gun. Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS. We got the Ameriglow blacked out uh, suppressor height night sights. We got the Trigicon RMR Type 6 automatic. Also have an anti-flickering plate up under here. And it is sitting on the CNH Precision Weapons uh, uh, red dot mount. We have the uh, Surefire X300 Ultra. And it is right in a 2-1 concealed axis uh, Slim uh, with Federal HST 124 plus P. And my belt is a Blue Alpha Gear EDC hybrid belt. All right, before we get to it, we're going to go ahead and change the view so we can get a better view. All right, y'all, here we go. This is the Ray Gear sheath for Leatherman. Now, we'll go ahead and tell you they make sheath for uh, Gerber, Sog, and also Victorinox. And they also make a, a sheath for... Um, the Zippo lighter, they got a little sheath for that. So that's pretty cool. As you can see, this is what I carry. This is what I EDC when I'm on duty at the station. This is the uh, Ray, this is the Ray bar as well as this one. This is a leather holster that, I, that came with it. And it's still good right now, but eventually I'll end up using this at work. But what I like about theirs is it's got a good look, uh, you know, positive uh, click to it. And it don't just come out. You can hold it upside down and shake it, but I will tell you, and I think this is because this is thicker with the painting on the uh, ray bar that's, that's black. This ray bar that has this not painted, it's a little slicker. It is loose, so I can only imagine. I don't know about the uh, Leatherman Wave Plus, the stainless steel one in this, but I know this. Uh, fits, you know, pretty good. I don't know if it's because it has the coat, the black coat on it, or it's just this one is made a little different. And I think this, I think you'll be fine with the uh, stainless steel uh, Wave Plus in this uh, sheath because it looks, it just looks different. The, uh, the makeup of it, as you can see, how this is kind of pushing in on it at the top. But if you got a, re uh, a stainless steel rebar and you get the sleeve, just be aware that it will and can come straight out versus the black one. I mean, it's in there. It moves a little bit for a second, but after that, it's it's hard to come out. So uh, these are pretty cool. They also have little tools on them on the side. So if you got some nuts and bolts that you wanted to try and loosen or get off, you can use, stick it on there and twist it or whatnot. And this is for the uh, ray bar. Um, and this is the uh, Leatherman Wave Plus, which is cool about this one. You got a back compartment where you can put extra uh, bits in there if you got the bits so you can put them on there and don't have to have them you know in the bag or whatnot and uh like i said this is pretty snug 
and you got the same as the old as the other one you got the tools on the uh side where you can use for uh nuts and bolts to tighten or loosen and whatnot and uh as you can see it locks in here pretty damn good i mean you can be upside down and it won't come unless you just flying down and come to a stop and it comes out you would really have to be jumping as you can see but for some reason the stainless steel in this ray bar i mean rebar it is slick like you see it's coming out so i don't recommend uh using the uh stainless steel rebar in one of uh the sheaths if you're going to do the rebar i would suggest getting a black because it, it stays in there pretty good so that's why i just keep this in here because i was going to buy two of them but i wanted to try it first because i was going to keep one i was going to buy one for this one because i know i keep this at the station but um and i only brought it home today to uh for the uh, review or whatever so i can show you the difference in it so you guys can see for yourself but this is the ray gear sheath and like i said they make them for gerber sog and victorinox so go over there and check them out i will have a link in the description all right y'all that's gonna wrap everything up hopefully this uh, information in this video was helpful for anybody uh because a lot of us carry a bigger multi tools but you don't want to carry it in your pocket and it's easy to get to when you got it on the outside of your belt or whatever and those leather holsters are good and i like the look of the leather holsters as you can see i still use a leather holster for the uh my rebar while i'm at the station but after so long it starts tearing and you've been and lost your uh multi tool but anywho, uh, I have, will have a link in the description for all that stuff. And I also will have a link in the description if you guys want to support the channel and still get something in return other than the videos. You can purchase one of these hoodies. I will have the prices and everything and my email address for all that good stuff uh, and the payment uh, options that you have. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead and grab a It's On You uh, hoodie. I got size small to a 3X. So, you know, it's not a whole bunch left because I did do a pre-order run. Then I ordered some extra ones. So if you would like to get one before they get gone, go ahead and uh, purchase one. Other than that, y'all get out there and be safe. Hit the range. Peace. Onk life. It's on you.